Hey, what's going on there guys? You've officially arrived at the 420 scene and today we're gonna finally show you guys my official super soil recipe. Literally the video you guys have been waiting for for the last couple of months. It's finally dropping right here, right now. It's all happening today, but first show us some love and support by watching the entire video, dropping a like, subscribing, and tapping the post notification bell so you miss out on any future videos. Also be sure to join our VIP Patreon program for tips, monthly giveaways, live streams, all that good stuff we're actually going to be giving away over one thousand dollars worth of ilgm beans on november 1st and november 15th right before their black friday sale so be sure to get in on that and become a vip patron today link will be in the description below and also don't forget if you want to come and sesh with us check out our grows and just chill with us follow us on instagram link to that will also be in the description below so let's get right into today's video and show you guys my super soil recipe for this next mandarin cookies and and purple frost giant run all right guys so this is going to be kind of a longer video than you're used to because we're going to be showing you the super soil mix but i'm sure you guys don't mind a longer video though right but uh we're going to show you everything that we got we're going to show you how we do everything i haven't done a super soil mix since 2017 so it's been a while, been a little rusty, but hopefully uh, hopefully this is gonna be a good mix for you guys. I know you guys like the compost tea recipe, the banana tea recipe, so now it's finally time to do this super soil recipe. So let's get into all the different stuff that we got. If you guys haven't noticed, if I'm sweating profusely, it's because it's really hot, there's no air in this room right now. I cut out all the fans that we had in here, you know, just so the mic quality is gonna be good. See, see what I do for you guys? Let's get right into this super soil mix. We're gonna take everything out here here we're gonna go over what everything is why we're using it so the next run we're actually going to be using 10 gallon pots so I got four 10 gallon pots over here we're gonna be using plastic pots this time around the only thing I'm not crazy about the fabric pots is that when you do water it seems to kind of trail off to the side and it's kind of a hassle you know what I'm saying and when you do a super soil mix whenever you're doing an organic row the whole idea is you don't really want to have much runoff because when you have a lot of runoff, it's gonna it's gonna take out all the nutrients you know that you have that you have amended in your super soil mix. So that's something you kind of want to avoid. So practice, you know what I'm saying? Water your pot when it's done. You know, try a half a gallon of water. If if there's nothing, then you're okay. Then do maybe another quarter of a gallon. See where you're at, and then you know if you're still okay. Do another quarter gallon so that way that way you have an idea of how much water you can put in your mix without going overboard you know what I mean without getting much runoff the first thing you want to do is I have some paper towels over here I already have some that I ripped up you want to just cut this up a little bit I know I know some people in the comment section were saying you know there are alternative ways to do this but your pots have these holes on the bottom and you know when you put your soil in there you don't want it to you don't want the water or the soil to just kind of run out freely so what I do is I just do like a bottom layer I know you guys can't see I only have the one camera here so all you got to do is put one layer just kind of cover up the the pot holes cover it up a little bit you don't have to go too crazy I also got these Grabber Black Heavy Duty Gloves. You don't have to wear gloves, but personal protection, you know, it, it, it's a good idea. It's also a good idea to wear some, some glasses. You know, I got my blue stoner shades, but you can, you can wear whatever eye protective gear because you don't want the stuff flying up into your eyes, you know what I'm saying? All right, we got our gloves finally on, so let's, let's start adding the Pro Mix. We got Pro Mix HP, so we're gonna start cutting this bag up real quick. I did not get the bale because the bale is just way too heavy for me to carry up all the steps that I would have to carry it up. So instead of the 3.8 bale, we got the 2.8 cubic foot Pro Mix bag. Let's open this up. And if you're wondering, the 2.8 bag is going to be good for 20 gallons, about 20, 21 gallons. So, you know, we're gonna be running two pots with this. Now what you want to do with this pot, you want to, before we start adding any kind of amendments in, we're going to fill up one third, you know, one third of the pot. See, and it's already coming out of the side. This is why I like to put the paper towels in here. Just so you guys are able to see what I'm doing, 
let's talk about all the other stuff that we have and then we're gonna mix it so you guys can actually see what I'm doing over here. So let's just put this aside real quick. And we're gonna talk about the amendments that I like to use first. First, we got the bat guano from Down the Earth, NPK of seven, three, and one. And this is high in nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Now, if your sword does not for some reason have bat guano, you can use earthworm castings. If your shop doesn't have earthworm castings, then just use bat guano. So just kind of an FYI for you guys. So we're gonna be using bat guano. We got kelp meal from down to earth, NPK of one, 0 0.1 and two. And kelp is pretty much good for roots and just overall um, like root development. So this is something that you definitely want. Next is something I haven't really talked about all that much and that is crab meal. You notice uh, no oyster shell, huh? If your shop does not carry oyster shell, use crab meal. Now this is a excellent source of calcium. It's got a little nitrogen in here. It's got a little phosphorus, but calcium, this is really, really what it's for. So if your shop does not have crab meal, you know, just use oyster shell. Shop doesn't have oyster shell, then just use crab meal. Next is gonna be alfalfa meal from down to earth, NPK ratio of 2.5, 0.5, and 2.5. And this is pretty high in nitrogen. It's got some potassium in it, so this is really good. Um, you don't wanna to go too crazy with the alfalfa meal because it's, it's a high source of nitrogen and you still have your bat guano or your earthworm castings in there. So just use a little bit of this. And lastly, my favorite, because I've used this in so many of my last grows in 2021, and I think a little bit in 2020, and that is fishbone meal from down to earth, NPK ratio of three, 16, zero. Super heavy in phosphorus. This is my, uh, this is really good stuff, guys. Make sure you have this. So as a recap, we got the fishbone meal, we got the alfalfa meal, we got the crab meal, we got the kelp meal, and last but not least, we got the bat guano. So I'm going to turn my camera around so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. So, you know, I'm sure that's what you guys really wanna see. So uh, I'm gonna have to do that right now. <laughs> All right guys, so I don't know exactly what happened, but the battery died, so I didn't even catch it, the battery died. So the first half of the soil recipe you completely missed. But just know, I'm gonna be showing it to you because the second half actually did record it. I'm gonna show you guys right away. So pretty much what I do show you guys coming up in the super soil mix is what you do. So just know the amendments that I'm going to give it right now is what you do twice. So you put in Pro Mix one third amendments, and then once you have two thirds filled, you put the amendments again, and then you put a little bit more on top, you mix it all in, and that's what's gonna be your super soil mix. So just pay attention to the ratios that I have. And for some reason, the battery died. I don't know, I thought it was fully charged or whatnot, but anyway, uh, I don't know, would you say this, this is about two thirds here? Oh, see, clumped up a little bit. You don't want that. Let's put a little bit more in. Now, this is about maybe a little bit over a half, just not quite two thirds yet. Let's put a little bit more of this Pro Mix in here. Now, we can't show you guys the actual transplant, you know, because of YouTube's monetization rules and BS. But if you do want to actually see the, you know, the transplant, you could always just go on Instagram. I have a lot of photos and videos of my plants and all that stuff. So, okay, I think that should be about that should be about good. So now we're pretty much going to be doing the same thing again. Uh, alfalfa meal. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why I showed. It. I couldn't, you couldn't even see the where it says alfalfa meal, but I guess you guys know what that is anyway. Now we don't want a lot of alfalfa meal now if you guys are newer growers out there you'll you'll start to realize the NPK ratios of everything and you know um, you know if you add a little bit too much of something you know you'll, you'll you'll start to figure out the ratios as you do this this is where you get better if you do your first super soil mix and maybe you add a little bit too much of something take notes of that so that way you can you can fix whatever issues you have on the next run and that way that's how you perfect all the different ratios of different mixes that you're trying to run now alfalfa meal all you really need is about 1 16th of a cup
try to, I know we're gonna mix it, but I still like to at least, you know, I still like to make it somewhat even. All right, so that's pretty much it for the alfalfa meal. So just remember, if you're running the setup that we're running, just use 1 16th of it because you still have the bat guano, which is super high in nitrogen. So you don't wanna, you don't wanna overdo it with the nitrogen. All right, next we wanna add another half cup of bat guano. So half and then half. It seems like it's a lot, but you're also running in a 10 gallon pot, so it's not gonna be that bad. Next is gonna be another eighth of a cup of crab meal. I'm gonna mix it right, right around here. So, so, so almost, almost looks like you're putting confectionery sugar on a cake or something, but that's gonna be it for the crab meal. Kelp meal, you want another eighth of a cup. So an eighth of a cup in the beginning and an eighth of a cup towards the end here, you know. And we're gonna recap all the stuff that I, that I mentioned after we get all this stuff mixed up. And I think that should, no, fishbone meal. Now the top layer, you don't want a crazy amount of fishbone meal. All right, so we're gonna be using 1 16th of a cup of fishbone meal, only because it doesn't really make sense to have fishbone meal at the very top here, but that's what I like, that's my recommendation. So use 1 16th on the top and use about an eighth on the bottom. Don't forget, you're mixing a lot of stuff in here, so. It might sound like, you know, I'm not adding too much stuff in here, but you don't want to go overboard. You know what I mean? It's always better to do less than do too much. You don't want to burn the heck out of your plants. If you don't give enough of something, and you know what, you could eventually supplement later. You know, you could top dress with something else if, if you're missing, you know, if you got, you know, not enough nitrogen, not enough phosphorus or potassium or calcium, you know, whatever the case may be, you could always just top dress later. So now we're gonna mix this all up. We're gonna mix it good. You wanna mix it good because you don't, you don't want too much in one area. At least I don't. That's just kind of like my thing here. I know you guys have been waiting for this super soil mix for a while. I've been, I've been waiting to get this grow going. You know what I mean? And um, I'm really psyched about it. I'm really psyched about it. It's the first time I'm not using ILGM beans. And um, I mean, I've used Nirvana Shop in the past, but like you know, since the channel has been started, I haven't really been running anything except just ILGM. So you want to mix this up really good. Mix it up good. And since it looks like there's a decent amount of perlite, we didn't add anything in. Um, I don't know, I feel like when I was running the Pro Mix before, I feel like there wasn't enough perlite, but I mean, you know, that was like five, six years ago, you know. Things change, I guess. So as a recap, don't use the alfalfa meal until you do the very top. So the bottom, so you, you do one third of the pro mix and then you give half a cup of bat guano. Now, okay, let, this is assuming that you're running in a 10 gallon. So you put in your pro mix, you know, one third of the way and then you put in half a cup of the bat guano. You put in one eighth of a cup of crab meal. One eighth of a cup of fishbone meal. One eighth of a cup of kelp meal. And half a cup of, did I, I don't know if I mentioned half a cup of bat guano. So after that, you put in, you know, more, more of your pro mix soil. And then once you're about two thirds of the way in, you know, then you want to repeat the same thing, except the only difference is you want to add maybe 1 16th of a cup of alfalfa meal on top of everything that I just said. So repeat everything that you did, except the only difference is when you have the two thirds of your pro mix in here, that's when you give 1 16th of a cup of alfalfa meal. 
And you can go to your local hydroponic shop, just get, you know, just get something like this. You know, you have the ounces, you got the you got the cups, milliliters, so you know this is this is a great all-around measuring cup that you can use. I, I think this was like only five bucks or something. But anyway, now what we're gonna do is we're going to add just a little bit more of the pro mix and also mix that in as well. Now remember guys, you always want a little bit less, and you can always alter this super soil, you know, whatever, whatever fits your guys' needs. Just make sure that nothing clumps up, all right? Oh, see, see this right here? You gotta break it up. You know, this is all about having fun, you know what I mean? Getting in there, gardening, and I mean, I love this kind of stuff. I know I do a lot of tips videos, and I don't really show you a lot of grows, but I'm, I'm just as much as a grower as anybody else. I love, I love growing, I love doing what I do. I love making content for you guys, and you know what, it's all about having fun. That's what it's about. If you're not having fun, then, you know, what's the point of doing this, all this stuff, you know? You don't want to be filling this up all the way because, you know, you're also going to be transplanting, so you, you need some room to kind of, kind of dig in. Maybe just a little bit more. Uh, it's a little bit clumped up over here. Make sure not, oh, there we go. Boom. All right, so that should be that should be pretty good. Now your soil density, you don't want to pack it too hard. You just want to you want to make it kind of you know somewhat somewhat a little firm, but you don't want it. You know what I mean? You don't want it to um, you don't want to pack it too tight, or you know you're gonna have you're gonna have some drainage issues, and it's just it's just not good. You want your roots to be moving freely throughout the soil. So now what I'm going to do here is just kind of create a little divot just something just a little divot right right in here so we can you know we can just transplant and that should be good enough and what i like to do is get it started right i got some mycos by extreme gardening i've been using this stuff since the very beginning now what i like to do is maybe like one tablespoon this stuff is pretty forgiving you know you just want to you just want to kind of fill it up in here. You don't have to go too crazy, but. Yeah, that should be good. I want to coat that a little bit. So once you drop your, your plants, we actually have our plants in the coconut husk starter pots. If you guys see them on Instagram. So we're just going to. We're just gonna drop it right in. We're gonna leave everything the way it is. I just wanted to create, yeah, I just wanted to make this video for you guys so you guys knew my super soil recipe and so we can all kind of grow together and, and achieve success together, you know what I'm saying? All right there guys, so I hope you guys had a lot of fun. I definitely had a lot of fun shooting this video for you guys. That's my super soil mix. You know what I'm saying? Drop comments below. Uh, Brittany's actually taking over the comments now, so um, definitely feel free to hit me up on IG. Also, don't forget, we got that $1,000 ILGM giveaway coming on November 1st and 15th, so you guys don't want to miss that. But anyway, I'm going to close off today's video. Before I do close off today's video, I want to thank everyone on screen for supporting us on Patreon since February. I appreciate the love and support, guys. So I'm going to close off today's video. Be sure to drop a fat thumbs up, drop that fat like, and subscribe for more content, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. And as always, stay safe. Peace.